After immense conflict, a drought is now battering Somalia. More than 2 million people have been affected and the situation continues to get worse as of now. In fact, the United Nations has said that one in four Somalis is now facing acute hunger. The drought comes as climate change takes a toll on one of the world's poorest countries. Somalia is facing a fourth consecutive failed rainfall season. According to the UN, at least 100,000 people have abandoned their homes in search of food and water. It has warned that 30% of Somalis will be in aid of food by as early as the year 2022. And to make matters worse, it's not just Somalia, but several countries in the Horn of Africa, including Kenya, which has been facing catastrophic droughts of late. Usually, Somalia should be receiving the November to December rains now. Any state, why the spread drought has devastated the country. Over 3.2 million people are currently experiencing the cumulative effects of three consecutive below average rainy seasons. And at least 169 people, 169,000 people have been forced into internal displacement um, and are in search of food, water, and pasture. After diplomatic boycotts, climate change has now become a challenge for the Beijing Olympics. Changing wind patterns have made it difficult for organizers to build snow-clad arenas, which are suitable for sporting activities. Our next report gets you all the details. Have a look. Strong wind is hampering snowmaking for the Winter Olympics in China. I want to try to get the snow quality on my jacket. But it's too much wind. Swiss man Jacques Fournier has been making snow since 1994. The temperature is minus 11 degrees. His team ensures snow is properly made on the trails, ramps and slopes in the arid heights of Zhang Zhakou, nearly 125 miles northwest of Beijing in Hebei province. But the arid climate are making things tricky. The wind is too strong for the snow to stick. Uh, actually, it's a lot of difference because here is no humidity, it's uh, very dry and it's a lot of wind. So on that kind of condition, the goal and the target is really to make the snow and to make the snow compact and to prepare rapidly to not let uh, use it by the wind. Zhang Zhakou will host Nordic snowboarding and freestyle skiing events at the Games in February 2022. However, the area receives little natural snow. This fact has raised concerns among environmentalists about demand for water to make artificial snow. On a recent particularly gusty day, snow guns sprayed 2.1 litres of water per second. The more the wind blows snow off course, the more is needed. Alpine skiing events will take place at the National Alpine Ski Centre in Beijing, which gets even less snow. Games officials say conservation efforts will minimize the impact of water used during the Games. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.